Uh, this is going to be extremely underwhelming. Uh, I, I'm a, an utter amateur. But here we are. Uh, so this is a, in Meteor. Uh, and uh, so this is a little experiment. This is my kind of sandbox, which um, I'll make available. And you can fork it on GitHub. Uh, here you go. This is a MongoDB inserting records every, uh, you know, second or so. Uh, and this is just Meteor doing its, its, its thing. Uh, What's amazing is there's loads like, uh, if I show you the code for this, uh, here, let's skip back a bit. So this is the JavaScript file for, here you go, this is the classic DOM. So this is just using the Blaze render engine and Meteor, and it's like putting things into the database like this on a regular basis. And it's really cool, and like, like things line up in a sort of uniform, soldier-like way. Uh, this is the DOM that we know and love uh, in action. And it's just like, why would you want to do anything else? Yeah. Why, this is perfect. Like, why? Uh, but no. Uh, th like, so this is a framework called Famous, which, which I, I have some sort of like love-hate relationship with. I don't, know, I, I don't know what it is about it, but I keep going back to it. Uh, so I've spent the last month kind of trying to uh, grow my understanding of it. So this is the same, th I'm trying to do the same thing with Famous. It requires a lot more JavaScript code, which is always dangerous where I'm concerned, because it does tend to kind of mess things up. And this is what you get. So, uh, so I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm just trying to put, uh, it's the same kind of like Meteor sandbox, and I'm just trying to use the Famous render engine, and uh, I'm doing really badly at it. But what I'm doing here now is I'm attaching a force to a particle uh, and a center pin, so two particles. So this is the world of famous physics. And this happened. Yeah, Whoa. physics is born. Okay, this is pretty cool. Whoa, yeah, so, so, so this is kind of like, this is kind of like, so this, I found this whole thing really, I would let, it would be great to come and show you something really dazzling. But um, I'm hopeless, and like, <laughs> I couldn't do it. I couldn't make anything very impressive. But so many questions came up for me, thinking about this and researching about it. Questions about the DOM, questions, like, so I have a, like, a bit of a strange feeling about jQuery. I feel like I rely on it too much, and I kind of like, you know, one day jQuery might not be there for me. <laughs> and I'm more like, well, I don't want to kind of like totally become dependent on the jQuery. So um, this is the same thing. This is force, but this is using, like, adding a bit of velocity to the particle. So basically giving your particle a little kick. And you can see you're in a totally different world. Uh, so famous is kind of like, you know, like, okay, I have my days with CSS where I'm just like, for fuck's sake, <laughs> just center, just go in the center. What? Uh, but I don't know if this is any better. <laughs> like, can you imagine? So I'm there trying to like, can you imagine yourself sat there in the afternoon? Like, yeah, I'm just going to lay this page out. <laughs> How do you lay a page out where everything's just kind of got a life of its own? Um, but then again, maybe that would make more interesting apps. Maybe uh, rather than have everything laid out for you like a magazine, it would be more fun to have a website that gave you like a bin full of stuff that you just kind of rummage through. Uh, or like, you know, you just had to shake your phone to kind of get to stuff. Uh, so so one, of the, one of the issues about this that's kind of interesting for the weeks coming up and for Meteor is uh, these tiles should have within them <laughs> Uh, the, the, the little bit of data. So I don't know if you remember on those first slides, they all came with like the time, it's basically like the milliseconds. Uh, that's really hard to get the milliseconds into these surfaces using Famous. Um, it isn't straightforward. You, you have to kind of start doing a workaround, uh, which is why I think um, Gaddy Cohen coming to visit us in London will be really interesting. So Gaddy Cohen is going to come in June, and he has done a lot of work with this. So I, as you can see, I'm just a kind of charlatan. Uh, but Gaddy Cohen actually has some ability and knows what he's doing and has managed to kind of bring these two worlds together in a way that is a little bit more sane. Um, spending my month kind of like doing this has helped me appreciate what it is that he has done. Um, so uh, I'm looking forward to his visit 
And that's the end of my uh, talk. That is a lightning talk. Five minutes. <laughs>